Paul McGinley has been named the European Ryder Cup captain for the event at Glen Eagles in 2014. He's the first Irish man to be named captain of the team. Several high-profile players had publicly backed his candidacy ahead of Colin Montgomery, who led Europe to victory in 2010. As I said, the 46-year-old Dubliner will become Ireland's first ever captain in the event. He was part of the victorious European sides in 2004 and 2006 as a player before becoming an assistant, becoming an assistant to Colin Montgomery and Jose Maria Olathabal in the last two Ryder Cups. I read and followed every word that went on the last few weeks, I have to say, and, and uh, watched with interest as it, like a yo-yo, my chances seem to go up and down and up and down. Um, but I'm obviously very pleased to be in this situation and uh, I felt that I've had a really good apprenticeship in two Seve trophies, Vivendi trophies, and um, this is a, a position that, I, that I'm really, really thrilled to be in. And it's also, as I say, a very humbling experience as well too, but it's also a situation I'm relishing and I, I can't wait to, to, get, to get into the role of, of being the captain. Uh, working with the players, uh, particularly the players that have showed such huge support for me, obviously, in the last few, last few weeks. That's Paul McGilley speaking a short time ago from Abu Dhabi. We're joined by RTE golf commentator Greg Allen here in studio. Greg, no exaggeration but to say that this is a huge, historic day for Irish sport, for Irish golf. Well, it's certainly a historic day for Irish golf. It's a great day for Paul McGinley personally, obviously. He is the grittiest sort of player, and now we're going to see what he's going to be like as a captain. I think he's going to bring all that grit that he brought to his golf, to his captaincy. But from the historic side of things, we've had 19 Irish players who've played in the Ryder Cup. We've never had a captain. There was a big push for Des Smith to be captain in 2006. That didn't happen. He was assistant captain. So it's not before time. And certainly Irish contributions to the Ryder Cup, as we know, Graham McDowell, Philip Walton, Christy O'Connor Jr., Eamon Darcy, all critical shot winning uh, players in the Ryder Cup. Finally, we have a Ryder Cup captain to lead the team rather than just play in the team. Paul McGinley is there on merit. He's been backed by, uh, by other top players. But the process of his selection has come into question over the last number of days. The process is flawed, there's no question about it, because there seemed to be an awful lot of campaigning going on. And the European team has always been a harmonious team, and that's one of the reasons why they always seem to gel during Ryder Cup week when they play the Americans, and the Americans always seem to be a bit disparate in their approach. So why was there suddenly a bit of angst in the European camp? Because Tom Watson was named as the American captain, that seemed to rattle the European cage. And suddenly there was debate as to who would be captain. Darren Clark pulled out, Colin Montgomery went in. But essentially, when it came down to it, the right man has got this job. Because Paul McGinley has never been on a losing Ryder Cup team uh, as a player, as a, a vice captain. And he's also guided two Seve Trophy, Great Britain and Ireland teams to victory over Europe. So this guy is ready for this job. And also he's got a great background in team sport, having been a Gaelic footballer with Ballyboden St. Enders and, and, the, and Dublin indeed. So he's a real team player and he's the right man for the job. Okay, Greg Allen, thanks very much for joining us in studio this evening.